Hey, hello, 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 hello. Okay, uh, going to be talking about a couple of different things here. One, uh, we're going to talk about a severe weather threat well to the south, uh, towards the Gulf Coast, and then a snow threat for uh, the middle part of the country. So first things first, let's talk about the severe weather threat. This is this first one is you can kind of see down here. This line right here, Friday morning. And it doesn't look like much because it isn't much, but this line right here, let me back it up a little bit, is going to give, so rain up here, this, this is the low pressure center, got a couple of different parts of this. This, ah, let's do something better here. This and this. So this cold front here is going to give a chance at some severe weather f deep south. We're talking Mississippi, we're talking Alabama. Uh, in fact, it's this area all the way down here. Even Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, into the panhandle of Florida. A marginal risk, not a big deal. Uh, but there is the potential for a tornado. I mean, that's not nothing. So if you live in this area like uh, Jackson, uh, Hattiesburg, Mobile, Mo Mobile. Mobile, Alabama. It makes me uh, think of a forest gump. Uh, even New Orleans, really close to this. So, but again, it's a marginal risk, uh, tornado, large hail, uh, damaging wind, all a possibility. It's the end of December. So it's not rare to see severe weather down there, but well, this is just day, uh, day two, I guess, tomorrow. Uh, there's also this though, this is kind, this isn't this is rare, a little more rare than the, the marginal risk that, we, that we're that we seeing for Friday. This is for Saturday, and we've got ourselves an enhanced risk, which is up here, your enhanced versus, you don't want to see moderate or high, but enhanced risk, that's when it starts to, it's up there, it's up there a little bit. Uh, so Louisiana, Mississippi, even into Alabama, a slight to enhanced risk of severe weather. So why, why is that, and, and what, enhanced for what well it's this bullseye right here likely a tornado is going to be a possibility large hail maybe some damaging wind especially in that hash marked area so this area right here Louisiana southeastern Arkansas into Mississippi Alabama here, let me I'm gonna zoom in so it's kind of the same area but Jackson smack dab right in the in the middle of it all uh, Tupelo just south of there Shreveport west of Birmingham Alexandria so what is going to happen here is this this is our storm cast now watch what happens this is right there this is the beginning of it and it starts in Texas East Texas into southwestern Arkansas and then this line right here moving into into Louisiana so moving this forward just a little bit this is about noon on saturday storms really start to get going and then look at this line right here let's see this right here that's going to be your your good chance at seeing uh, damaging wind large hail uh, and maybe a, a tornado or two so that's a, a, an area of concern and then look at all that wind. Here, let me kind of move this out here a little bit. There we go. So this area right here, that's a long line of probably 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Uh, the uh, tornado potential is in there as well as this moves in from Missis uh, Mississippi into Alabama. Uh, definitely worth keeping an eye on that area. So let's see. Uh, let me go back to that. Ooh, went, one, one too far, too fast. Um, okay, let me get back over there. So this is this low pressure center here. Let me get this up here. We've got, yeah, there we go. This line right here. And it goes all the way from Cincinnati down through Kentucky, Tennessee. But notice how it turns into that dark red color right there when it's in Mississippi and Alabama. That's gonna be your stronger uh, part of the storm. Up here, maybe one or two 
wind-related severe storms moving in uh, through Kentucky and Tennessee, but I think the better chance is going to be further, uh, further south. Okay, so now on to this one. This is, I'm going to pause it right there. Right there, we're starting to see a rain, rain, snow to snow mix. This is your, you're up by Black Hills, South Dakota, into Wyoming, the northwestern Panhandle, and north central Nebraska. And then that rain, snow mix, and then just rain. So let's see what happens here. This is kind of interesting to watch. So right there. Now, what makes me think this model may not be perfect yet is because it just vanishes right there. See that? See how that model does that? I mean, it's got a swath of snow all the way through here, right? But watch what happens when you just go from Monday 7 p.m. to Monday 8 p.m., 9 p.m., just disappears. So I don't think this model knows exactly what's happening yet. This is, I think this is the GFS. Uh, but it also has that rain changing to snow over Lincoln by Monday night into Tuesday morning before it all pulls east very quickly and out of, out of Nebraska into Iowa and Missouri and then kind of evaporates quickly there too. I mean, look how fast that goes from snow in Iowa to nothing. So I don't think this model has things figured out yet, but it's a chance. It's something to watch for Monday. There's Monday noon. There's Monday afternoon. There's that Monday night. And then Monday, late Monday night into Tuesday morning. So that is, what day is that? Monday 30th into the 31st. Now here's the deal, some spots in Nebraska, Lincoln, hasn't seen snow for almost a year. I mean, it was January of this year that saw snow the last time. So it's been a really, really long time since any snow. And if this happens right here, that some models are saying half an inch, maybe an inch of snow. Need at least a tenth of an inch for it to be a measurable snowfall. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, and that would be the first time since I think January 18th that Lincoln has seen snow. So that's the record is for the, well, we've already set the record for the longest amount of time of no snow. Uh, but the latest snowfall has happened in Lincoln is uh, December 31st. That it has waited that long, oddly enough, on the very last day of the year. Uh, it's never gone into the, the next year uh, for the season, if you get what, if you get, uh, catch my drift there. So we'll see. Just an interesting setup. Uh, and then that snow quickly gets uh, out of the way by Tuesday morning. So. What's going on? Severe weather to the south, uh, winter weather for the center part of the U.S., a little bit here, a little bit there. This is normal. I mean, this is a, a normal, I mean, it's pretty strong storms near the Gulf Coast. That's not really normal, but strong storms down that way certainly happens any time of the year, especially uh, this time of year it can happen. So uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.